So let's pray and, and start our parents' message. Uh, God, thank you for gathering us today. Uh, let us really raise our remnants, finding the heavenly talent so they can have the blessings of recreation of this world, uh, so they can be used to uh, preach this gospel and also to be used to really uh, uh, imprint the gospel in their life so they can be the remnants for this age and for these generations. Thank you, God, and we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, okay, uh, today's title, it's um, prayer. So I want to share you about prayer. And hey, that's pretty good. You guys are pretty concentrated today. 너무 너무 비대면으로 너무 익숙해졌네 친구들이. They're too used to the 비대면. But I am happy you guys are concentrating, okay? So, uh for the parents, um I don't know if you heard the uh, uh core message and all that. And I want to tell you that um Oh, Ramon, let me help you with unmuting your there you go. Okay. And I think uh, you heard well, and you talked about how can we really help them with the heavenly mandate, a heavenly talent, right? And I think uh, I was listening to it and uh, I was thinking of our kids. And really, we need to not just focus on the good things that they're good at, but really find what God has given to them. So what kind of reference do we have to really know if let's say Chua, Chuseong, Daniel, Josh, God gave, right? That's why you need to check that while they pray. And also you need to check that while they give worship. Okay, because God has given our kids this blessing of having a spirit to worship God. So that's the first talent God has given him to the kids to be able to worship and to be able to pray. And that's the image of God. So now that part is done. So now we need to know how can we really explode this amazing image of God that is in them to able to praise God, not to themselves. Okay. So you heard today in our first service, right? Everybody came with a reason for my life, for my things, and for my future. We cannot put the same reasons to our kids, right? That's why I think listening to yesterday's messages and today's message, we will never be able to find and discover our kids' heavenly talent if we don't pray for them. In other words, I'm saying, of course you pray for them, but really praying for them to really understand and find God's plan in them. Usually we pray, God, please give health. God, give, uh, God please give um, some kind of things to our kids. Uh, if I put my sample, I, I don't know. I think you guys are better than me. Uh, when I... Uh, pray for my, for Isaac, for my, I don't know if it's a son or daughter, okay? You guys guess, I don't know. When I pray for that, I always pray like this, uh, God, this kid, I don't want to say this kid, but it's English. This kid, when he's born, maybe he, the one that worship you the most beautiful way he can. And I, in this was before, I received yesterday's message, today's message. But because my intention is like, this kid would not be with me forever. I think that I'm too far away. I'm too ahead, right? I'm too ahead of the future. Probably that's the problem with myself. But um, that's my heart always. My kid will be with me forever. So from the beginning, I really want my kid to be able to worship God the most beautiful way they can. 
not the best way, the most beautiful and glorious way to God. And I pray that, and I pray always uh, that God, let me not just teach my things, my experiences. And I think God has given me that kind of um, personality that I was, I've never liked to be, uh, let's uh, uh, how you say it, like trapped in a school system. So I was the one that always fight against the teachers. So that's one of God's personality that God gave me, okay? So I cannot do nothing about it. But with that, I know now how to pray so that our remnants can grow inside the gospel and be really, really finding God's heavenly talent. And when one is saying hi to us, he's like, hi. So let's keep finding our heavenly talent that are in our kids. So that's why I, I, in Mondays, we gather, right? And I think this Monday, we won't be able to gather in person, but we can gather through Zoom. And let's keep talking about that. Not just, I, I always say like, yeah, what's the good thing, the positive things, but you gotta guess, you guys need to understand more deeper part when I say the positive things in them. It's actually to be able to wait. Okay, if, I, if you see the heavenly talent on them, you can wait. So I still keep uh, praying about what's the heavenly talent that Chiyun or Soyoung or or uh, Chua name in English is Deborah. Phoebe. Oh, sorry. Phoebe. Phoebe. You see, Sangmiji Sani, you need to keep telling me. You never tell me. You gotta keep engraving me with that name. That's why you gotta keep saying the name. It's not. It's my fault, but it's also, it's also time fault. Okay. Uh, you gotta keep telling me because I need to, you know, keep remember because uh, I really want to find um, the heavenly talents for all our kids, and really we need to pray so the Holy Spirit works in them, and also the heavenly throne be on them, and also to be the have the spiritual uh, uh, spiritual works in them, and and I ask. I ask my mom and I ask some people and I say, I think this way, but do you think that I am just weird? And I ask, I, I ask that, do you think that I'm just too like ahead of things? I was worrying because, you know, I don't like to really talk about my ideas and my thoughts. And then God gave us the message yesterday and today. So I understood, ah, uh, if I pray and I think about my kids with prayer, it's actually God working with the Holy Spirit. So it goes with the same concept when you treat your own kids. Let's keep discovering. I think it's fun to discover our kids' heavenly talent. And I think last week, I, I was kind of, I, I was kind of a little bit happy that we kind of, find out uh, Daniel's heavenly talent. You know, you know what's your heavenly talent? I chanjaya. Chuseong i chanjaya, monjo al good work, monjo al kuate. Ola. Okay. Nazunye omaga yegezuka. So, and that's why I gave you the mission of doing your YouTube with the kids. You know, take your time. Uh, see the timing, see the condition of the kids, and, you know, little by little. You can make a long, long period project, or you can do a short period project, doesn't matter. The reason why I gave you that is because I want you to see your kids' uh, thoughts. And I told you the key point is let them be greedy, okay? Let them be greedy. Let them do whatever they want. But just you need to incorporate them, the spirituality part, in the morning, afternoon, and night. That's the only thing you need to help them. And when they finish, just wait what they say. If they say, mom, what should I do? Mom, what can I do? Who's going to do this for me? 
then you come in the role. You then you tell them, I can help you. You know, we can be a team and let's make this masterpiece. Okay. And through that, I think we can find little by little what's the heavenly turning together. Okay. So that's um, one thing. And one last thing is we need to teach our remnants, uh, not to teach, we need to study prayer with our remnants. Okay. Study prayer with our remnants. So studying means not just with books, but in a very, very flexible way, we need to study prayer with them. And I'm still praying what is the best way to really uh, make them uh, know what's true prayer. Okay. So, and that, I think you moms are much better than me to find how they can, or how are they good at praying? Okay. So that's the, that's the uh, message I want to share. Let's pray. And after this, uh, let's go to our remnant's message. Let's pray. God, thank you for giving us this blessing of this gospel. This gospel is so profound and so uh, unending. And let us really um, put this in our heart and let the gospel be our standard so we can make our remnants and guide our remnants to really glorify you and worship you in various manners so the kingdom of God be established in their field and in our life. God, also thank you for calling us as a church and calling us as the evangelists so we can just hold on to your covenant and see what you do in your field and see what you do in the battlefield. That's why let us hold on to this faith that you have given us in victory, in this guaranteed victory, so we can also uh, be the witnesses of this spiritual battle that we need to have in our field. Thank you, God, and we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.